perfect. We're gonna start by peeling two bananas. Once we have them out, we're gonna get a tiny little spoon or a tablespoon like I used, and we're gonna go ahead and hollow out both of the bananas just like so. That way we can put some good stuff in there. Okay guys, now that we have our bananas, we're gonna grab some Hershey's chocolate and we're gonna start putting it right into our banana, just like this, perfect. Break it up, put it right in there, awesome. So you can use whatever chocolate you have at home or if there's a chocolate you like, you know, go grab it from the store. Kit Kats work really well, but I love Hershey's chocolate. So we're gonna go ahead and use it. If there's any excess of your banana, you can go ahead and take it off, honestly. Perfect. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab our original Pillsbury Crescent. Once it's opened, it usually will just come out just like it did. Go ahead, take it all out. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to roll it out. So we're gonna roll it about halfway. So roll it out. There we go. There's that halfway line. Take it out. Perfect. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to take all of these off, go right down the lines, be very gentle because these will break very easily and go down other lines. So there we go. Lay it right on top of one another like this. Perfect. There's some missing right there. And we're our last piece right on top. Perfect. So this is looking good. Now grab your banana. You're gonna fold your dough inwards, fold your dough upwards. And we're gonna go ahead and fold it. There we go, guys. Now we're folding this part over, as you can see, and we're just kind of closing up any gaps and the rest remaining just fold right underneath, okay? There we go, perfect. There we go. And as you can see, we have our banana croissant. Put it back there. We're gonna start making our other one. Perfect. Roll it all the way out with your hands. We're gonna detach it right there. Split it right on top. Split it right on top again. And our last piece right here. Now we're gonna grab our banana Fold the sides in, just like that. Fold the upper part upward, just like I'm doing. Kind of connect everything. And now we're gonna get the long parts and fold over. As you can see, by folding it over, it gives it the croissant look, which is amazing and exactly what you are wanting. All right, now these remaining pieces, guys, Go ahead and fold right underneath, right underneath, right underneath. Perfect. Awesome, guys. So this is exactly how it should look. We're gonna go ahead and put these on our baking sheet now. Okay, guys, we have our baking sheet right here. We're gonna go ahead and put our croissants right into it just like this, give them a little bit of wiggle room. Perfect, awesome. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab our egg wash and we're gonna go ahead and brush both of these guys, just like this. You want a nice amount on each one of them. That way, this egg wash can go ahead and really work when it's getting baked. The egg wash allows it to get nice and golden on top. Let's toss this in the oven. Okay guys, we're gonna toss this right into our oven for 20 minutes at 375 degrees. Okay guys, this is ready to go. Check it out. We're gonna go ahead and plate it. This is all done guys, but last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and grab our Hershey's chocolate syrup. 
and we're gonna go ahead and put it right on top of both of these guys. So I like to drizzle it just like this, perfect. And we're gonna go ahead and do the other one, perfect. Look at how delicious this looks, guys. These are so, so delicious. I wanna show you exactly what it looks like on the inside, okay? Whew, look at that steam. All right. Very hot, guys. Look at that. So delicious. I hope you enjoy.